Welcome, welcome everybody. Um, as you can see, I got a brand new haircut and I'm so excited because this finally means that I can uh, stop pushing my hair out of my face. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a tour of all the tattoos I have so far. And the total amount of tattoos that I have right now is six. Um, it's in um, probably gonna be from my first to last. Um, so to get started, this tattoo, you guys have seen it before, um, is of a flower. You can see it right there. And the backstory behind that is that the middle of the flowers was actually a birthmark. And ever since I found out about it, I was super, super insecure about it. I didn't like it, but I didn't want to surgically remove it. I wanted to do something else with it. And what better way to cover it up without having to risk anything health-wise than just tattoo a flower around it. And it looks like, right now, I think it looks like it's part of the tattoo. Yeah, it looks like it's a part of the tattoo. So I'm super happy about it now. Now I feel like I can show it off and be fully confident about it. Anyway, my second tattoo is this one on my wrist. Um, it's backwards, but it's really the birthdays of my parents. This is my dad's, that's my mom's. Um, I decided to put it facing me because it's very personal for me. Like, I want to be able to see it. I mean, if I do this and I show it to other people, then, you know, that's fine. But I personally wanted to be able to see it, you know, because it's my parents' birthdays. <laughs> but, um, so that's why I decided to put it face up. Because I know some people don't think that's a good idea, but... It's a very intimate thing for me, so I decided to do it that way. Anyway, um, so my third tattoo, what was that one? Oh yeah, my third tattoo was an ankle tattoo that I got for my 20th birthday. Here it is right now, I have a picture of it. And I really wanted to get that princess crown because my dad always calls me princess and 1999 is obviously the year I was born. So I decided to get that tattoo on my ankle and um, as you can see, some of the lines look a little off only because that winter was when we didn't have heat, we didn't have hot water. So I was only able to wash it through certain occasions. So that's why the tattoo didn't come out looking its best, which moral of the story is wash your tattoo or else the lines are gonna be like all weird. It's not gonna look the absolute best it can possibly look. Anyways, so my fourth tattoo has definitely got to be the huge angel uh, statue that I have on my hip. Here's another picture of it because it's also in a kind of in intimate spot. Now the meaning behind that one was mostly because my mom, she passed away in February and she enjoyed angels and you know, I thought that that statue looked very very cute i was actually gonna get something else but then the tattoo artists were like oh that's just our flash art and i was like all right then i will get something else um and uh he showed me a picture of that angel statue and i thought it looks absolutely amazing and it looks even better uh, the way he did it on me it looks amazing um so my fifth and sixth tattoos are the ones on my fingers this one it's backwards, but it's a K. It's a K for Carla. She was my mom, the name of my mom. Then this A right here, that's for my sister, Alana. Um, I figured the plan is to get all of my family members tattooed in this one hand because we're a family of six and I have five fingers. So I mean myself and the rest of my family members. So I think that makes sense. But, you know, not like immediately because I don't want to just have finger tattoos. You know, I want to have tattoos on my hands. I want flowers on my hands. I want to get things on my arms. You know, I have plans for the future. But it's better to just map out and really, really think about what you want to get. Even if it means waiting. Um, rather than just tattoo yourself on instinct. So that's why I don't have any more tattoos. And also it's kind of expensive. Makes sense though, because they're artists, you know, tattooing takes a lot of work to do, not only to be tattooed, 
but to tattoo yourself takes a lot of work from what I've seen through YouTube videos and throughout my personal experiences. That's gonna be my first tattoo tour. Definitely not my last because like I said, I plan on getting more, but I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I love tattoos, it's one of my passions. Besides music, definitely tattoos and piercings I absolutely am obsessed with. Um, so be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you like my content. If you want me to make videos on certain things, I will happily take requests. Just comment down below what you like a video made on and I will definitely do it for you. If you want me to post a cover of a song, sing something, I can definitely do that as well. Just let me, guy let me know, guys, what you would like. All right then, I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.